gosh, dude, you scared the crap out of me. Yo, come here, I gotta show you this. Yo, do you know how hard it is to make a video? Not very, but by God, will I stand by and let this guy just spew vicious hate all over my last Donkey Kong Country review. Meet Mitch Yader. He is that guy on the internet. It all started with him saying, my God, not another retro video game reviewer. Where I responded, rude way to criticize someone's first video, Mitch. And then he said, oh, I'm sorry. Did a little get his feelings hurt? Amateur. Then I want to check out his channel to find nothing but a bunch of DIY videos about how to build a deck. And then I use that to my knowledge to say, my videos are probably not as amateur as that deck you're attempting to build. Then he replied, actually, I was helping my grandpa last year repair his deck. He died recently, you hole. Then I said, how am I whole? How was I supposed to know your grandpa died from falling off this deck? Then in all caps, he said, he didn't fall off the deck. I never said that. <sighs> how in the world am I supposed to work on new videos when I know this guy's just going to be on the back lines ready to harass me? If I delete his comments, that won't permanently remove him. If I block him, he'll just create another profile and probably respond something like, oh, did a little get his feelings hurt and go cry to mommy? Then I'll be really pissed off and say something like, sounds like someone woke up on the wrong side of the deck this morning. Yeah, his grandpa didn't deserve to go out like that. Okay, what about this? In order to sympathize with him, we make top 10 old people in video games. No, 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 no. Why old people in video games matter but it's not what it seems. So when he sees the title, he thinks we're trying to sympathize and trying to like reach out. When he clicks on it, it's just a backhanded satirical parody of those old people, like medical prescription commercials. And it'll go like this. If you don't understand the importance of older video game characters who haven't fallen off amateurly built roofless floored structures, there are treatment options. Ask your doctor if once a day senior citalin may help you. In clinical studies, senior citalin has been shown to be effective with people who struggle with EEE or electronic elder exclusion. Senior citalin helped me remember solely from Uncharted, Dr. Eggman from Sonic, and Professor Oak from Pokemon. Thanks, Senior Citalin. <laughs> That's what you get, Mitch! No, I think it's gone a little too far. Hmm. Hey, man, I know things got a little heated in the comment section, but I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I never meant to assume that that's how your grandpa died. If there's any way we can make this right, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. You see that? This guy's relentless. We have to rework why old people in video games matter, but we do it in a sincere light. So that way when he sees it, the intention is clear, he watches it, and hopefully it'll connect with him on an emotional level. I think that's the only way to get this guy on our side. What's up guys, Young Ten here with a new video, and today's upload, it's gonna be a little different than my usual stuff. This video is dedicated to someone very important to me. His name is Grandpa Yader. He is no longer with us anymore. He could have passed a decade ago, but I imagine him to be a friendly old man who would have made all of our lives a bit brighter if we had known him. So without further ado, let's remember Grandpa Yader together as we talk about why old people in video games matter. Have you ever known an old person in any video game who was evil? I can tell you personally that I have not, and here's why. The elderly characters that we interact with help establish relationship, trust, and provide us with many years of wisdom. Take for example Professor E. Gad from Luigi's Mansion. Here we have a friendly, loving character who all he wants to do is make stuff for you. The old man from the original Legend of Zelda gives you a sword. 
Anna from Overwatch looks after you and protects you with her healing darts, while Soli from Uncharted is unpredictable, affectionate, and a hero. All characters of which that we can look up to and aspire to be. I imagine Grandpa Yader, if he were still alive, would agree that all elderly people are representative of love and support. And in video games, no different. Pindar, an ancient Greek poet said, a graceful and honorable age is the childhood of immortality. I'm not sure what that means, but I know after I get a little bit older and a little bit wiser, I'll understand. After all, I am young. Thanks for watching. Dude! Can you text me when you come from now on? Ugh, all right. You wanna see the update? Well, Mitch saw the video and surprise, surprise, he hates it. He said, what the actual F is this? You never effing knew my grandfather. This was the biggest half aid piece of ish I've ever seen in my life. And if he were alive to see this, he wouldn't waste one second to watch this cancer riddled atrocity. Get off YouTube, you talentless hack, before you embarrass yourself any further. Or better yet, just kill yourself, you poser, and save us all the trouble. Admittedly, the video wasn't the best thing in the world. But do I deserve all this? I'm trying to mend this bridge here. So I'm taking the high road, I'm not gonna respond anymore to the comments. Instead, I'm just gonna upload one final video that should put this whole matter to rest. Oh, hey there, Mitch. I'm actually building something reliable. 